do it old school in a 32 ounce glass container that has got a lid and a ceramic grinder and now you can coarse grind, fine grind, you decide and make fresh coffee. What I love is you don't need a plug, you don't need a battery, you don't need to charge this up, and you've got an old ceramic grinder. What I love is, guys, when this is done, okay, it comes with, which the old grinders, if you had, my grandmother had one of these, it's got a seal lid on it, so you can actually gr store this in a beautiful glass, not plastic, jar, fresh coffee, manual, it's old school, you know, the butter churner that Henningley brought in. They were figuring people love nostalgia, so let's go for a coffee grinder. I love your outfit so much. I know I that's know, not this is for my friends. I love you. Um, hey, I'm going to show you the color choices because Henning Lee, the 32 ounce manual coffee grinder with the glass jar and lid. Our line producer, Scott, just said, where was this a couple months ago? I would have loved this under the tree, but you know what? You can get it now. That's even better. Here it is in the gray. Here it is in the red. And notice the handle is where you're finding the color. Everything else is glass and steel. Then we have it for you in the blue at the very end. Three easy payments of 11.67. So it gives what, you the perfect grind. I want to show you something inside. Show me, show okay. me, show me. So again, 32 ounce glass jar. This is not plastic, folks. It's a screw on, okay? Remember, my grandmother being from Italy, she had the little wooden box with a little drawer in it. You couldn't see inside. You only could do like a taste, teaspoon at a time. And then you couldn't store it. But Look at the underneath, guys. See this? There's the magic. That is a ceramic grinder. There's no stainless steel there. Why is that important? Because if you're going to put spices, this works with all spices, anything dry, cloves. I'm going to show you cloves, peppercorns. So not just coffee, by the way. It grinds everything you love in a crush grind, meaning that it's going to actually crush it properly, not smash it. And it's not going to rust, crack, or pit. Why? It's all ceramic. And if that wasn't worth the price of admission up here, is a little knob, so if you turn the knob, it changes the, let me get this out of the way so you can see it, it changes the opening so you can do coarse what? to fine. So it's got the funnel, coarse to fine, all stainless steel. We want you to hand wash this part because of the ceramic grinder, a glass jar, and, and you get a storage lid that screws on so anything you actually grind, you don't have to worry about using or throwing it away, it stays fresh in here. That old grandmother one with the wooden box in the drawer, Gosh. you could not do that with. So okay. they, they, tick, they kicked it up a notch. Go My plug-in-the-wall coffee grinder yep. sounds like an angry wood chipper. Yeah. It is so <laughs> loud. And in the morning, like this morning, I had to leave early in the morning. I didn't want to turn the coffee grinder yeah, on because it'll wake gonna up wake the up whole Jasper household. Jasper was going to get ticked off. The you know. cat will come running. This I can do by hand. silicone handle, by the way, so you can grab it so it doesn't slip on you. Uh, this is easy. Right? Yeah. But it's, I, I know it's... I listen, can take it camping. There's a little bit of nostalgia. It's a little bit of old school, but it's actually modern old school because of the fact that we gave you a ceramic grinder, yeah. we gave you a glass canister, we gave you a lid to actually store whatever you didn't use. Right. It just makes sense. And I'm no not looking at it, so I'm throwing it all over yeah. the counter. That's but, fun. So let's take it out of the box, folks, okay? I'm going to actually make this a little, there, tighten this up a little bit. Too. And I'm going to put peppercorns in here. So, I mean, again, it's not <gasps> a pepper, but it's, it's the same concept as, so spices, cloves, anything dry, it's going to look, there's peppercorns, done. So I know it's crazy, but look. We can grind our own spices. Our own spices. What make if I grow my own rosemary, dry it out? Could I grind it in here? Correct. Yes. So what here, if I, I, mean, I keep going? Let it dry and grind it yourself. Yes. And how about just doing cloves, guys? If you want to just crack up cloves, I'm in. You want to make your own rubs. You ready for this? Chef Mitch made this. You know what this is? A coffee steak rub. So coffee grinds, coffee beans, and other spices mixed up, and you can make your own rubs, which is huge, by the way. Coffee steak rubs are huge now. It's a uh, big trend going on. That is so cool. Close. So you could you could use this to make your French press. You could use this in your coffee, yep. your you know your standard coffee maker. You could use this in your my K cup. Yep. Um, and because there's no power involved, there's no power you could involved. Take it with you. So yeah. here it is in the gray. You find the color on the handle. Here it is in the red. And then at the very end, we have it in the blue. Here's my thing. If somebody Tell is a me. camper, if somebody has an RV, if someone has a little beach house, this is the perfect thing to have because you don't need electricity. Right. And it adds that little nostalgia. So if you're away camping or you're in and yeah. you want fresh ground uh, coffee beans when you're camping, this is the way to do it, folks. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a fun thing to bring an old technology to the new century and just make it easy, smart. Even and if you live 
even if you live in a spot that doesn't, you know what? I'm gonna put this look over the, here. Look so at the grinds, guys. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Even see if that? you live in a spot that loses power a lot, right? This would be a great tool to have. And it's, you know what? Our line producer just had a great point. It's one less thing to charge. One less thing to charge, or plug oh. in, or use oh. electricity on. Where are the batteries? And by the way, if you want no something one. fun with the kids, I know this sounds crazy, but when you're trying to get kids inside the kitchen, you got to worry about. Don't put them next to something hot. Don't put in something electrical. Don't put something right. next to sharp. And if you just want to introduce kids in, let's say it's breakfast time and they can't get next to the stove. I know it's still silly thought, but just think. This stay with me great. for a second. You're making eggs on the fry. And the, hey, honey, why don't you why don't you grind on the islands the the coffee grinds for us to have coffee? I just feel like it starts implementing children into the kitchen in a safe manner. Go. I want to pour this into the French press. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And then just, and I, we got hot water. Yeah. Right. There's, there's that. That All goes done. in. Oh, my God, husband's it smells a huge, so good. Oh, fresh coffee, you know this. Herbs, uh, I mean, yeah, herbs oh. and any seasonings and coffee, fresh, there's nothing like it. Put and then it pour into that in. The By the way, not just any crusade. press, but a Le Creuset ceramic I press. Know, Hello, right? my fave. Here we are. And then just let that steep. Let that steep. Get it nice and just sturdy. On the top lid, there we go. And then. Oh, and you know what I have over here? Top. Well, before we go to, I have uh, iced coffee, guys, if, you, if you're into cold brew and stuff. Great for that. So here's some cold brew that we did. Oops, too high. And then we're gonna, because I can't see with these glasses on. Okay, and there we go. We've got espressos, cappuccinos. By the way, my parents are old school. Shout out to my mom and dad probably watching right now. I grew up with this. This is a stovetop Italian espresso percolator. So great to grind. And, and if you have one of those, I know my mother and father have several of those, not one, because they needed all the sizes. So when I grew up with that, oh, look at you. Do they both take creamer? Not in their espresso, but yes, in their Well, in, in, the, their in the coffee, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, one lump or seven? Uh, 18, please. Here we go. Uh, but you know what? I love how much fun this is. I love that it's by hand. It's um, easy. It's intuitive. By the way, you don't need to read instructions. No. Just put your beans in there and grind. It's a the big end. capacity at the top, 32 too. ounces, by the way. Oh, this. Yeah, the funnel. That's so funnel, non-slip. It's really great. Okay, so let's have a little coffee. 700 have now been picked up in the show. Um, have, did you see all the new that we have in the program I know. Today? By the way, you don't expect new on New Year's Eve, but we're giving it to you here, okay? Mm -hmm. So you got to stay tuned.